Welcome back everyone. So if you've been following this administration and its goals for reading, Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan says her administration will focus on literacy as one way to prevent crime here in town. It is an opportunity also to level the playing field to provide resources for all children to be successful. Right now, 55% of third graders in Duval County are not reading on grade level. Read USA has been working for years in the community to change Change that and has had significant success. So Dr. Rob Kelly, the CEO of Read USA, joins us today. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Melanie. You know, Mayor Deegan has said again that literacy improves crime. What is the connection there? So we know that when we have a more literate society, when people can read on grade level and read proficient, proficiently, that they have a, a smaller chance or a lesser chance of being incarcerated. Mm -hmm. They have a higher chance of actually having a, a successful job. And then it also improves their health outcomes and uh, relationships, things like that. It's being proactive, right, yes. about a problem that people always talk about in Jacksonville. So if we can catch them while they're young and give them the tools to be successful, they are. That's right. And that's what we're all about. We don't want to uh, be reactionary and try to keep working on a problem that we know is solvable. Right. Yeah, I love that. Through reading. Through so reading. interesting. And you all know that. Read USA, you are going to be a part. When I saw this, I called you because I knew somehow you would be a part of the mayor's plan. Um, we don't know all the details, but it looks like it's going to launch early next year. So what do you think this will look like for families and schools? Right. Well, first of all, we're so excited that Mayor Deegan is focusing on literacy. Mm -hmm. when, when the mayor puts her stamp <laughs> on something, we know people pay attention. Right. And what this is gonna look like is, is we'll have a book launch in, or, or the mayor will have a book launch in January. We'll be a part of that. And then she is uh, pulling all the partners together who are focusing on education in the city to say, what are you doing that's working and how can we help you do more? Yeah, and one thing that you all see that's working is your peer-to-peer -peer tutoring. You've seen some big gains when it comes to kids who are reading better. Um, in fact, on the average, years growth in less than four months, which is just tremendous. What does that what does that look like in schools? And I guess it'd be really amazing if you could reach more kids. Exactly. And the reason that we're getting those great results is number one, because of that one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, Teachers don't have time to spend one-on-one -on -one time, mm -hmm. 40 minutes at a time with a kid, and a, a lot of parents don't either. Right. So these teens, we're hiring teens and training them to build relationships with kids and helping them read better, and that is just, it, it, they, these kids are um, building self-confidence in addition to their literacy skills, and we're seeing that that's the tremendous growth. That's the power behind it. Are you it. still hiring peers right now? So we are. Yeah, you are, okay. Yes. Yeah, people how do people go, find out more? Yep, go to readusainc.com slash apply. Okay. and you can uh, start in our next round. And it's pretty flexible. I mean, the kids come in and they make a nice amount of money and they work directly with the students. That's right, $15 an hour and it's uh, three afternoons a week that you can come in and work and we even you know, provide transportation if you need. Yeah. So we try to break down the barriers. All right, there you go. There's yeah. a job available that pays well and does good, that's right? That's right. All right, so I also want to talk quickly about Peace in the Pages. That's scheduled for Thursday. It's every year on Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, celebrating literacy and also the champions who work on literacy in the community. And it's interesting, that actually speaks right to the mayor's goal, peace in the pages. That's right. Yeah. We are very aligned with Mayor Deegan's team and her mission. Um, peace in the pages, we start, this is our fifth annual event, and we believe that through literacy, people learn empathy mm -hmm. and peace, and that makes our community better. And then we're excited for the award winners this year. We have people like Kevin Gay mm -hmm. and Betty Bernie, yeah. uh, oh, Nicole man. Thomas. It, it's oh, a great lineup. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, those are great folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know who the winners are. I'm actually your MC. That's did right. you know that? I, I did know that. <laughs> know we did. better get you the script. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm excited. Um, it's so good to hear what people are doing and that there is a goal to improve reading because like you said, it can be life-changing. And, right. and we talk often about how some kids just don't even get a book in their hand until they start school. That's right, and we know that homes that have books in them, that those kids start school uh, with more mm -hmm. literacy progress than other kids. And who doesn't, you know, who doesn't want to have books in their yeah, kids' hands? Everybody does, so we try to, we're, we're working harder to get more and more books out there. All right, thank you, Dr. Kelly. Yeah, Great to see you, you as Ronnie. always. And we will be right back after the break.